Hey guys, what's up? Today we are dissecting the breaststroke pull. So I just wrote a blog post and it's called the four steps to having a better breaststroke pull. And in this blog post, I'm discussing basically the four key steps, they're technical steps that you develop to actually perform the breaststroke pull. And then as we go through this series, my goal is to teach you guys common mistakes that are made in during the breaststroke pull. And also technically, what can you do to actually get your breaststroke pull faster? So let's go ahead and talk about the fundamental steps of a breaststroke pull. So the very first step, I call it an I position. Um, basically what you're gonna do is you're take your hands and you bring your thumbs under your body, but you're gonna bring all of your fingertips together, okay? So it's not quite a streamlined position where you have your wrist over your wrist, but you're gonna have your hands side by side with the thumbs down. And then from there, you'll extend the arms up over the body to hit your I position. So this is step one. Step one out of all the steps is actually the most important step. Um, it's not the hardest step to do just on its own, but when you couple that with the undulation motion that happens in breaststroke, it's actually really hard to make sure that you're hitting your eye every single time. And the reason the eye is the most important is because it dictates the swimmers the rest of their body line. So if you don't get your head all the way down in your basically your ears through your hands, you're not gonna get under the surface of the water and have a straight body line after each breaststroke breath, um, which is gonna leave you more in this type of position, which means that you have more drag coming at you from the water. So the ideal is to get into this eye. Basically, you stop and start your breaststroke pull in this position. So after you complete your I, you go out to something called a Y. Um, and the reason they're called I and Y is because they actually look like an I and a Y. Um, so once we start in our eye, we sweep our hands out. We rotate our palms and we sweep our hands outside of our body line into a Y position. So it's literally from I to Y. That's step one and two. Y doesn't do anything from a speed uh, perspective. You should feel a little bit of pressure against your forearms as you sweep your hands out to the side. But other than that, it's not actually moving you anywhere in the water. It's just setting you up for step three, which step three is the scoop. Um, so after you come from your eye, if you go out to your Y, what you do is you bend at the elbows just like you do in the freestyle pole for that high elbow catch. And you drop the hands down and you scoop the hands in towards the chest. So it's really kind of a V-like motion because you start with your hands up here, and then you bring them up under the body um, so they come in closer again and you actually get pretty darn close to a swimmer's chest um, so the scoop is actually the portion of the breaststroke pole is responsible for any speed or propulsion generated because you are literally moving water under the body okay so that way it's going back behind you so you're going forward so once again we're here we're at an i we sweep out to a y we scoop in so we scoop in towards the body and then from there we go into our last phase, which is the shoot, um, which is basically the breaststroke pull recovery. So you take your fingertips together. I like to say it's creating like a, a teepee. And then from there you extend the hands forward back out to that Y position as you drop the head back down. So scoop in, bring the fingertips together, shoot forward, drop your head down, get into your, uh, your eye once again. So it's I, Y, scoop, shoot, which if any of you guys grew up swimming in a learn to swim environment, I'm sure you've actually heard those terms and they're still just as important today as they were before. They're the technical, basically the technical fundamentals of a breaststroke pull. So if your I and your Y aren't super solid, you're not going to set up for a great scoop, which is where you get a lot of that propulsion generated. And then from there, you have to shoot them forward just to restart that breaststroke pull again. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll talk about some common mistakes. Talk to you guys soon.